Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Last episode I released a new real-time strategy game, new eco-sim. My consoles are selling okay, not real well. Got to build up these bonuses, got to get more games out for them, basically. I think for my next game, the trend is going to change in 15 weeks. Let's see, Market Research thinks the next trend is going to be action. Action is currently the anti-trend. So I will do an action game soon. Not yet. I think I want to squeak out one more game before I make an action game. I think probably be good. Maybe sports. Maybe a sports game. How's my engine for that? I think I'm going to make it tech level three. I know I just did a tech level three game and I've been alternating, but I want to get more games out for the mini, right? Every game I'm making is going to be for the Lucera box right now, but the mini, it's only every second one at the moment. So let's look at this sports engine. It is up to date, so we don't need to update it. So we can go develop a game, sequel. Lucera Baseball 5 is out, so I think this is going to be Lucera Hockey 2. Probably is the play here, I think. That will be for not all. That will be for teenagers. Um, I'm going to bump it up to AAA. And it'll be Ball Engine, Manufacturer Exclusive, Chair Box, Chair Mini. Everything looks good. No, we got to go back to Tech Level 3 here, which is fine. I'm hoping and assuming that this is the best Tech Level 3 stuff. If it's not, oh well. <laughs> Everything looks good here. This stuff probably needs to move, I'm assuming. Let's take a look and we can find out for sure. Um, 20, 30, 10, 40, 20, 30, 10, 40. So it was close, it was close to where it needed to be. Turn on everything here, 39 to 40. So we could make this double A, but we're going to make a triple A because why not? I feel like it makes it a little better game. Obviously it's much more expensive. That's okay. All right. So where are we at here? Chair Hockey 2, TV, automatic repeat. Let's go. Um, is there any research to be done? No, there is not. There is definitely gameplay to improve. There are definitely some high-quality sounds to be added. There are definitely some high-quality animations to be added. And believe it or not, some high-quality graphics as well. Second development team is currently doing add an add-on for Chef Tycoon 5. Um, support is doing support things. Production is doing production things. Uh, console development is twiddling their thumbs, but that's all they can really do at this point. So let's let her rip. Hopefully, which air hockey tube is good. <laughs> let's see what's out there on the job market. Is there anybody we want to hire like this programmer? Put them in there. Oh, Romance of Stars off the market, made 26 million. Moved a bunch of consoles, called that a win. Punch Engine was licensed. All right, what else we got out there for programmers? I like this. Inexhaustible, talented, lucky. Those are some good traits. And yeah, I don't mind stress adverse. I do like efficient, so you're hired. All right, so we got lots of programmers now. Lots of people in the mocap studio. What about game designers here? Um, efficient is nice. Good with sequels is nice. Um, Talented is nice. We're going to hire all three of these. Throw them in our main room. Let's throw them in our secondary room. Let's do a free update for biplanes and tanks too. And what else do we got in the old job market here? What about graphics? What about sound? Those look like the... This person looks like the reject from when I did recruiting. Probably the same case for sound. Yeah, nobody I really want there. I don't think... What about marketing? Wait, you have room for mar anybody in my marketing room? I think so, right? Yeah, I got room for a couple people in there. Not many. Uh, what about techs? Look at all the lucky technicians. Holy crap, they're almost all lucky. So we'll throw them in there. So when the time does come to make a new console or to revise one of these, we'll be able to do it quickly, which will be nice, obviously. Still no research, right? There is not. Punch engine is done. Although maybe, 
Maybe I shouldn't be making AAA games unless they have to be. Because they do take longer. And time is of the essence. I'm trying to get as many games out as possible, right? So time is kind of of the essence. So maybe I should be doing it a little different. Um, let's see if we can get a couple more technicians here so we can fill out that room. And okay, so they're almost done with this update as soon as they are. Uh, I'm going to make an action game next, right? I already decided. So let's make sure that engine is up to date. It is not up to date. Let's include the best tech level three stuff if it wasn't there already. Looks good. And make for Lucera box. Market dominance low. I'm surprised that this doesn't have more market dominance. I'm pretty sure I've had some really good selling action games. Right? Haven't I? I could have swore I have. Maybe not. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm crazy. All of the above are possible. <laughs> All right, let's hear a hockey two. One of my programmers wants to be employee of the month and has worked a night shift. Hey, don't tire yourself out. You know, go home at night. It's okay. You don't need to work overnight. Honestly, it's fine. Ooh, biplanes and tanks is selling pretty well. But that's largely because it's for the extra console, right? You can't really compare these sales to these sales because this is only for my new console and this is for two consoles. And the older console has a lot more users, right? You're looking at 54, almost 55 million uh, versus 16 million. That's a big difference. All right, so let's continue development. That is not looking like... It's going to be worth um, worth overhyping. It's only 70 to 90. All right, polishing. They're polishing. Everybody's polishing. Yeah, it's only 70 to 90. I think I just should put that out as is. I don't think. I don't think. No, no overhype. No overhype for you. And out the door with you. Perfect. Yeah, but sports is pretty unsaturated right now. And 92%, I probably could have overhyped it. I find 90% is the point where you want to overhype. As long as you're over 90%, you're safe to overhype, in my experience. All right, so let's uh, do commission work. Or Sorry, let's do an update, not commission work. And then let's do develop game, sequel. Where are you at, biplane battle? We've been ignoring you. This is one of my better IPs. 5 IP value. <laughs> and I haven't made a game in this series in a long time. This one's going to be AAA. Pretty sure it needs to be AAA, though. And Action Engine, this will be exclusive for my new console. There we go. And so those are locked in. These are not right, though. So let's uh, see what's right for those. 10, 40, 30, 20. 10... 40, 30, 20, perfect. Turn on everything here, 47 to 50. So yeah, this one's gonna be AAA because I'm not cutting seven features for sure. I mean, everything except wheel support applies to action games. I'm also expecting this to be a good game. I'm gonna be pretty disappointed if it's not, if I'm being honest. So hopefully it is, hopefully it's good. Um, How many game reports am I behind here? Four. Let's do those. Yeah, high quality sounds. Quality animations. Any research to be done? No, there is not. Market this game. Perfect. And we will watch them as soon as they're done. Of these, we'll immediately put them where they should be, improving the gameplay. That did not take long at all to get that done. So that was a good decision. Punch engine was licensed. They did not make much, but I'm hoping that the game is for my consoles, right? Because if it was, it gives a small boost to sales. Obviously, good games give a bigger boost. Like most of this boost, there's 48 games, right? The total bonus is 65%. Um, was it left? 50, 50 of that 65% is from my exclusives, right? 11 times 4, and um, 3 times 2, 4 and 6 is 50. 
So all those NPC games haven't provided much, but they have, hey, 15% is 15%. Whereas here, yeah, 40, 48 of the 50% is from my games. But there's only been four games put out by the NPCs. So they're not really um, putting games out with a little chair box, but I do like the way the sales seem to be rising. Now this big jump was from when the slumber sump ended, right? But it's good to see it continue up. Credit is going to change in six more weeks, and I'm hoping, <laughs> beyond hope, that it is indeed action. Um, probably make another first-person shooter. Let's take a look at our engine for first-person shooters. Make sure it has the best tech level three stuff. It does. We do not need to update that because it's going to be a tech level three game. That means we can just do updates. Oh, let's do commission work. Let's back through this commission work. And then we'll do a free update for... Oh, Zara Hockey 2 is selling very well. Now it's week one. Week one can, you know, have weird results at times. Um, so which room could use a little boost? Looks like mocap room. Right, so like they're 25% through this thing. They have one thing left. Um, they're even ahead of that pace. They're on roughly the same pace as the Graphic Studio, where they have two things left. So they're a little behind the pace. So we need a few more people in there. So let's look. Programmer, efficient. Yeah, specialist, let's go. I don't think there's any research still. There is not. All right, so there's a programmer for the mocap studio and another that was fast so they should be able to get through stuff faster now actually already they're that all of a sudden they're ahead of the sound studios pace all right so man that was really fast to get those <laughs> all those people um, we're gonna pass on this one because untalented is they learn slower although eh, you know no I'm gonna pass we're good we got a lot of people there so we're gonna do now let's put a demo for wheelchair hockey. What else could use a demo while we're here? Breath of the Dragon definitely could go for a demo. How are my consoles doing for hype? 94 and 95, they're good right now. All right, so let's overhype by playing battle here. Because I'm expecting this to be good. If this isn't a 95% plus game, I'm going to be I'm going to be disappointed. Honestly. <laughs> it better be 95 plus. Oh, that's not going to help any. Losing 427 graphics points because of a virus. Uh, sigh. That's unfortunate. What do we got here? Headset support. All right, so overhype did not work. Unfortunate. 80 to 100. And high score and everything, even with the graphics points we lost. Huh. I'm just going to polish it to the end of the week. A little polishing never hurt. I don't feel... So the trend is about to change. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm hoping action is actually the trend. That would be not good if it wasn't. Um, let's throw another update of biplanes and tanks as well. All right, so finished development, self-distribution. Here we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're talking 98%. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. So, I believe the plan was Lead Dead 2. We have Lead Dead Classic out there as well. I forgot that I um, put out a budget version of Lead Dead. Actually, 0.5 IP. That's good for one game in the series. We'll leave it at AA for now. I'm almost positive it's going to end up being um, AAA though. And uh, FPS engine. Manufacturer exclusive. Yeah, everything looks good. All right, so <laughs> where do these sliders need to go? A lot of them are already in the right spot, though. That's, that's pretty lucky. Three of them here and like four out of 11. That's pretty good. And like I said, lucky. All right, so we want better story. We want more depth. Depth, story. Too much for core. 
want to see more innovation. And it's too violent. Well, come on, it's a first-person shooter. So for anybody who's not aware, I have these sliders uh, are set for to be random. So that's why first-person first shooter should probably be violent, right? In the real world. But just these sliders are randomly, you know, decided at the start of the game. These sliders, on the other hand, are not. So let's look at my game report from Lead Dead. And then we'll know exactly where we want to put that. 10, 50, 20, 20. Graphics, extremely important. Like, extremely important graphics. Turn on everything, 47, 40. So yeah, this is going to be a AAA game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. All right. Um, did I do a manufacturer exclusive? I did. Perfect. FPS engine. No, oh, <laughs> the engine's old. It's maximized for one of my old consoles, but you know, I could take the time to change that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put this out. It'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. So obviously, we're going to make this game good. And when I say good, I mean very, very good. All right, there we go. Uh, they're busy up there. Customer support queue, they're basically still treading water. Eventually, I'm going to need a bigger support team. I am not to that point yet. Uh, we did that research. There's no more research. Console team, just kind of twiddle on their thumbs. I've already done both cost optimizations, right? Can't do any more cost optimizations. I could revise, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting to revise. All right, we got hardware at level four so this is like the better tech level four stuff so like if i want it after this research i could revise this console right because we got a better thing in almost every category but i'm not going to um oh action is the trend as we hoped because i'm waiting for tech level five to revise it is the plan so it'll be around for a long time it's it's got time to grow it's it, that's actually doing pretty good. 250,000 a week. That's a million units a month. That's solid. That's kind of 250 a week is kind of like a benchmark for good console sales. So Luchera Mini is now the sixth best uh, selling console of all time. It's coming for the Nintendo. Luchera Box is in 12th. Got a ways to go yet. 10 million to get into the top 10, but it's getting there. It's moving. Like I said, it's got years yet to be in the market, as does this. Because this, I'm going to revise this one once the tech level four screen comes out, right? But neither one are going to catch these two. I pro I'll probably never catch these two. So the reason these two are so high is because the this cost optimization thing was added, um, you know, midway through this run via a patch. And obviously I used it, and it was kind of OP. <laughs> it's since been adjusted not be quite as op so those two consoles i mean i love that they're on top but they definitely kind of need an asterisk next to them i feel holy crap like isn't there like a 20 percent chance of finding somebody they're finding somebody constantly Jeez. um yeah i feel like i probably don't need any more people <laughs> it's probably enough so what can we do with them all right did we sweep the awards again i sure did i'm up to eight million i'm over up to over uh, up to almost up to at least eight million fans which is pretty crazy all right so what else is popular right now besides action not puzzle <laughs> we do have a puzzle game on the market which kind of sucks platformers pop Ooh, first person shooters popular so that's what we're making in sports so i kind of luckily made a couple and real-time strategy so basically these last three games and the one i'm making right now i kind of got lucky that those are popular right now um yeah i'm gonna do a platformer because that's kind of supposed to be my like signature genre it, it's saturated but it's still pretty popular so i think that'll be fine um it's gonna be tech level three right because the game i'm making right now 
Now, the game I'm making right now is Tech 3. Do I want it to be Tech 3 or Tech 4? Is the question. So sales are up, obviously, on my consoles because it's the holiday season. That happens every year, to be expected. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I am going to do Tech 3. So let's get this engine up to date for Tech 4. Did I say Tech 3? I meant Tech 4. I'm doing Tech 4. So it's going to be exclusive for Luchara Box. That's fine. It's kind of, it's, it's it's tough. Like, I want to make Tech 4 games because they're better. But I want to support the Luchara Mini still, right? So, I don't know. It's tough. I, it kind of feels like a no-win to some degree, right? All right, so hmm, am I going to want to do overhype for this? Probably not. So let's just do the pre-release for the press for now. Maybe at some point, we we'll, once it gets a little further along, we can look at it and potentially um, overhype it. Not looking good for overhype. All right, let's just polish it a bit here. Make sure there's no hidden bugs. And then we can ship this out. Finish development. There you go. Self-distribution. I'm expecting it'll be pretty close to 90, if not over 90. But you never know. It might not be. I mean, it is only my second FPS, I guess. Yeah, 88. So I'm happy with 88. Once I kind of realize that, you know, <laughs> it's only my second FPS. All right. So you can do a game update. You can do sequel, Super Luchera Bros. Where are you at? How long has it been since I did a Super Luchera Bros? 93. Eh, two years. Two and a half years. I'm actually surprised. This is only a two star. Um, IP, but I feel like the games have sold really well and been good. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I feel like that number should be higher. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like that number should be higher. All right, everything looks good there. Um, the, I'm not sure if this is right. I'm pretty sure that's not right. But isn't it supposed to be like 25s across the board for a platformer? I'm pretty sure a platformer is supposed to be just 25 for everything. Yeah, so that's definitely... Obviously, that's not right, because that is not 25 for everything. There we go. Turn on everything, 4650, so definitely AAA. And let's market the crap out of it. No, not Lead Dead 2. That's already at 100 hype. There we go. That's what we want to do. And away we go. Should be a good one. I sure hope. Man, I was, I was way overdue for an action game. Like the biplane battle, it's such a good IP. and But I mean, it was the anti-trend, I feel like, twice, right? No, I made a ton off that engine license. <laughs> Clean it up. Where, where, where am I going to spend all that money? I will say this though, my my bank account, it is still trending up. It was just six six six, but it's trending up a lot slower than it was, right? All right, so we got a new engine feature, new tech level four engine feature. Um, all right, so my pipe is down under ninety on my console, so I'm gonna change that, get them back up to hundred. They both they both had pretty good holiday seasons, I feel. Jared Baseball 5 is off the market. So, like, my games are still profitable, but they're not making the profit they were. And my consoles aren't making a lot of profit just because my, my, my margins are very low on them, right? Because I'm trying to sell a lot. I'm not worried about making money. Believe me, if I want to make money off them, I could. That just hasn't been my priority. All right, so we got even oh, more even more engine stuff coming in. That I'm only using half the time. So what am I going to make after this? I feel like another RPG. Yeah, it's half popular and it's not super saturated. It's somewhat saturated. Um, so Breath of the Dragon 8 is almost off the market. So hmm, it's going to be only tech level 3 though, right? So I don't need 
because this is tech level four. I don't know. Like I'm, like I said, I'm torn. I want to keep making games for the mini, but I want to use tech level four, right? In a way, like I feel like I, I can't win, and there's new anti cheat. So let's buy that. Put that on here. Not that, or you know, <laughs> platformer. <laughs> this probably doesn't really need anti cheat, but yeah, we're gonna put it in anyway. Yeah, I don't know, especially as like even more advanced tech level four stuff comes through. Maybe depends. You know what? Let's um I'm gonna make a skill game. I feel like certain genres can get away with being lower tech. I don't know. Does that make sense? Or is that just a thing in my brain? Alright, so where is my skill engine as far as updated updatedness? I'm pretty sure updatedness isn't a word. <laughs> so we got the best tech level three stuff, which is all we need, but it's, I'm just going to throw this in there just so that I can change this. Right? Because it's wasting. It's weight. Special platform, you have a higher chance of critical work results. Right? So if we have it for a console that I don't even use anymore, it's being wasted. Right? In theory. And I also pretty sure I haven't made a skill game in a really long time. Alright, so we lost some tech or some hype there. So let's see if we can let's do a demo for Lead Dead, but let's see if we can do a pre-release demo. Or where are you at? Super Chair Bros. Get you back over 90. So that we can do overhype. Pre-release for the press. Actually, eh, is it too early for pre-release for the press? No, it worked. Okay. Now we can overhype. I'm assuming this game is going to be worthy of overhype. If it's not, then I'm going to have regrets. Yeah, 80 to 100. That's what I figured. Overhype went through. I'm just going to pause for like half of a week here, I'd say. And let's throw an update at Lead Dead 2. All right, that was over half of a week. Well, it's three quarters of a week. Self-distribution. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a good game. I'm sure hoping that it is anyway. So we didn't even max out this graphics. Oh my god. Can anybody see that in the background? Oh. 100%. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't know if I've ever done this before. This might be a first. Legitimately, in my hundreds of hours of playing this game, I'm not sure that I've ever got a 100% review score. Wow, okay. Awesome, awesome. And um, that seems like a good spot to end the episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to my patrons. I couldn't do it without you. If you want to support me on Patreon, links in the description down below. You can also find a link to my Discord there. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.